other students myself professor ankur i welcome everyone for the gate sum session on analog circuits today we are going to solve important sums on voltage regulator this is our fourth session on sums on voltage regulator let's start with the session now the question is obtain zener and load current for the voltage regulator shown in the figure so here we are given a diagram the supply voltage is 20 volt the resistance r is 5 kilo ohm the current coming from the source is is it will split into two parts iz and il the voltage for the zener vz is 5 volt and the load current is flowing through rl of 5 kilo ohm so the first step is we will find the value of is current so for that we are already aware bo is equal to vz is equal to 5 volt so we can find the value of load current as bo by rl which will be 5 volt divided by 5 kilo ohm which will give us 1 milliampere the value of input current can be defined as vs minus vz by rs so it is going to be 20 minus 5 divided by 5000 the value of your input current comes out to be 3 milliampere now the value of zener current which is going to be now a subtraction of the is current minus the load current so is is 3 milliampere and il is 1 milliampere so difference of both is 2 milliampere so the zener current will be 2 milliampere and the load current will be 1 milliampere next question find output voltage and zener diode current for zener diode regulator with source voltage of 20 volt r 5 kilo ohm resistance of zener 0.1 kilo ohm and zener voltage of 5 volt so this is a diagram given to us where we are having an input and that input is basically the source voltage 20 volt the r value is given as 5 kilo ohm the resistance of the zener is 0.1 kilo ohm and zener voltage is 5 volt so we are supposed to find the value of output voltage and zener diode current so here the value of current can be found by applying the kcl at the output node so you can see the center node you can find the load equations by giving kcl at that node you will get vl minus 20 by 5000 plus vl minus 5 by 100 plus vl by 5000 is equal to 0 so we get the node voltage vl as 5.19 volt so that is going to be the value of output voltage and then we can find the value of zener current iz as vl minus 5 by rz so it is going to be 5.19 minus 5 divided by 100 you'll get the value of zener current as 1.9 milliampere so this is how you calculate the value of zener current and load voltage for load voltage we have applied kcl at the top node and then the current was obtained from a simple formula potential difference upon resistance next question for the voltage regulator circuitry shown so this is circuitry the input voltage v in is 20 volt plus or minus 20% and the regulated output voltage v out is 10 volt assume op amp is ideal for a load drawing 200 milliampere the maximum power dissipation in q1 in watt is so the first important point we need to understand that we are supposed to calculate the power dissipation of transistor q1 that will be a product of current into the voltage of the transistor so for that the first thing we can see in the diagram carefully that there is an op amp with the plus pin of the op amp at the reference voltage of 4 volt since the op amp is ideal in nature the plus pin potential is going to be equal to the minus pin potential so automatically the v inverting pin will be also at 4 volt so now we are going for small notations we are giving ic current ie current il current and the node as vx 
so if you observe the value of vx will come to be coming to be 4 volt because of the property of op amp and the load current given to us is 200 milliampere so since the vx is 4 volt the value of ir2 current that is a current flowing through r2 resistor will be vx by r2 which is 0.4 milliampere so the value of emitter current will be the current ir2 plus il because whatever current flows through r1 it will flow through r2 also because no current will flow inside the op amp and that's the reason the current of r2 resistor is as good as the current of the r1 resistor so the emitter current was splitting into two parts the first part will be ir2 and the second part will be il so since il is 200 milliampere and the value of ir2 is 0.4 milliampere the total emitter current is 204 milliampere if we take input with variation as 20 plus or minus 20% then the value of v in max will be 20 plus 0.2 times 20 it will come as 24 volt so the value of vce is going to be v in max minus vo where the value of v out is 10 volt so the value of vce will give us 14 volt so now when i talk about the power it will be vce into ic so it will be having a product of voltage into the current of the transistor which will come out to be 2.8 watt 